Thank you, Jim. Dog owners are feeling a little bit nervous this fall. Right now, there's a mysterious canine illness that's spreading in dogs, and Illinois is one of the states seeing cases. John Maroney has more. You want to go for a walk? Oh, you'd pick up on the respiratory thing for sure. His hands full with Eva Baxter and Tilly. Ross Mata was now watching for signs of a respiratory illness that's making dogs in other parts of the country sick. I hope it doesn't come this way. We got our hands full enough with Lyme, you know. The potentially fatal condition has been reported in a number of states. In Oregon, warnings have been issued after dogs that became sick failed to test positive for the typical causes of respiratory illness. We're not seeing anything different than normal, so we've got it on our radar, of course, to be very vigilant. Oh, my Peter. Dr. Aaron Doyle is VP of Veterinary Medicine at the Animal Rescue League of Boston. Come here, let's listen to you again, Peter. She says respiratory illnesses are common in canines and either go away on their own or are easily treated with medicine. She says owners should always monitor the health of their animals. Coughing, sneezing, runny nose, similar to what you would see for a cold in people. And so that's what folks should watch out for in their own pets. There you go. This unknown illness starts out as a cough and apparently doesn't respond to regular antibiotics, leaving dogs struggling to breathe and in some cases with a severe case of pneumonia. She's a retired racer. She's from Florida. Nathan Burke says Ginny is in good shape, but worries about this new potential health threat. A big concern being a dog owner and loving my dog like a lot of people do, part of the family, definitely a, a big concern. That was John Maroney reporting. The number one tip to keep your dog healthy, keep it from areas where they're likely to come into contact with other dogs, and don't delay taking your dog to the vet if it needs medical care.